there are a lot of different ways that you can express the concentration of a solution. For example, if you look at a commercial bottle of hydrogen peroxide, I know you can't see it here, but it says that it is 3% hydrogen peroxide. That means that if you have a 100 milliliter sample of the solution, 3 milliliters of it, or 3%, is actually hydrogen peroxide. The most common concentration unit for a chemist, however, is the molarity unit. Molarity is defined as moles of solute, or the thing that you're dissolving, over the liters of solution. For example, if you have 8 grams of sodium chloride in a 500 milliliter solution, a couple things you have to do to calculate the molarity of this solution. First, you have to convert grams to moles. And in previous videos, we've done several calculations that involve gram to mole conversions. So remember to go between grams and moles, use molar mass. So for sodium chloride, sodium chloride's molar mass is 58.44 grams per mole. which gives us 0.137 moles of the compound. We also have to convert milliliters to liters because it is specific as moles per liter. And this is a conversion you probably don't need to write out, but I'll go ahead and do it anyway just to be complete. Five hundred milliliters is 0.5 or a half a liter. So now we have our amount in moles, our volume in liters. If we divide the two, we get 0 0.0684 moles per liter. And another common way to express molarity is instead of using the mole per liter unit, we write a capital M, which stands for molar. So you have a 0 0.0684 moles per liter solution, or you can say you have a 0 0.0684 molar solution of sodium chloride. Now one reason why chemists like the molarity unit is because it has the mole unit built into it. And one place where that's handy is things like stoichiometry. Now before we did stoichiometry problems in a previous video, and we've done gram to mole conversions, again, if you want to convert between units of grams and moles, use molar mass. The molarity unit allows us to convert between units of liters and moles. So if you want to go between grams and moles, that's molar mass. Between liters and moles, that's molarity. One difference between the two is you can get molar mass from the periodic table. You can't get molarity by looking at the periodic table or anything. You're either given the molarity of the solution or you're given other information and you can calculate the molarity first. Like we saw in the previous example with sodium chloride. So let's look at a stoichiometry problem that involves the molarity unit. And we'll use the reaction between zinc and hydrochloric acid to give you zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. Let's try to figure out how many grams of zinc you can get from 25 milliliters of a 3 molar solution of hydrochloric acid. Now remember, 3 molar is another way to say 3 moles per liter. So you have 3 moles 
of hydrochloric acid per liter of solution. So like we did in previous, previous stoichiometry problems, we start with our given measurement, which is 25 milliliters. HCl. Again, molarity is moles per liter, so we need to convert milliliters to liters. And since it's three moles of HCl per liter of solution, we can use that to convert liters of HCl to moles of HCl. Just like we did before with molar mass. And remember with stoichiometry to go between moles of one unit to moles of another, or moles of one substance to moles of another. All right, you look at the balanced chemical equation, and you see between hydrochloric acid and zinc, that's a two to one ratio. So it's two moles of HCl per one mole of zinc. And also remember to go between moles and grams. Again, that's molar mass. So zinc's molar mass is 65.39 grams per mole. So that gives us 2.45 grams of zinc.